And then I said to the man, Neck, I barely know her! Ah, 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 ah. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the void. I'm player one. I'm player two. Uh, and I did not commit a genocide. If you think he did, like and subscribe. Why would you do this? Welcome back to Professor Layton. Last time, we've met the Muppet Man. The Muppet Man? The Muppet Man. Who lives in Dropstone. Uh, he told us some Dropstone lore. And, um, and yeah. And now we're finally leaving. We're going back to the train. Mr. Layton. Sir. Can we not see the Muppet Man again? The place is positively crawling with people, isn't it? Careful, Flora. If you don't watch where you're going, you're likely to run right into someone. Sorry, this is also new to me. I forgot to pay attention to where I was walking. Understandable. After all, it's quite a change of pace from London. Wow, Flora, you sure are excited. Just don't stand around gawking for too long or we might accidentally leave you behind. Like always. What's that? Ooh, and look, there's another one over there. Huh? Professor? Luke? Where'd you two go? Oh my fuck! Flora! You got captured by Waluigi? Oh no! Professor Flora's gone! Oh dear. We must have gotten separated in the crowd back there. Let's retrace our steps. It's really awful. It's really hard to find her with all these people about. What people? There's no one there! Oh well. Sorry, there is one person obstructing my view. <laughs> she eats that whale over there. You know, your mother. I, I saw it coming. <laughs> Where could that girl have gone off to? Who? Something sus. Mechanical copy. It's Waluigi. Again. Shit, is it? Fuck, it might be. Look, it's Flora. Where'd you run off to? Sorry, there were so many people I must have lost you. I turned to look at something, and before I knew it, you two were gone. Well, I'm relieved you found your way back to us. So many people around, who knows uh, when we might have seen you, found you again. I'll be more careful from now on, I promise. No, this is fucking Waluigi. This is him. Shit. Shit. What'd you do with Flora? did you hear? A man named Romy was asking around after the Elysian box. If we can track him down, maybe he can tell us something we don't know. I heard from one person he's been wandering around near the station. That is interesting news. Let's head to the station, see if we can find Romy. It was nothing. This fucker is a master of disguise. He's even got the personality down. God knows her. God knows his sins. He's not pleased with this man. Let me give you a buzzer. Oh, the daughter's name is Kat Katia. Katya? Sure it's not Claudia? No, it said Katia. I've heard the Elysian box. Hmm, you name to me, a buzzle. She looks like an elephant seal. <laughs> Damn. Okay, one of these. The two boxes shown below are actually the same box shown from two different angles. Using the visible faces, reassemble the pattern of the box by placing the tiles into the unfolded view of the box. Each tile needs to go in the correct square, facing the correct direction. Go, man. Okay.
Okay. Wouldn't... Wouldn't the triangle be on that, like, three line? No. See? Because, look. The triangle is here. So, when this folds... Let's say this is the top. This side has to go down, and this will fold to be this side. I rotated the circle just for fun, yes. And now to test my theory. Okay, so, okay, so. Go, so, go, so, go. Beaches. See? She looks like an elephant seal. Man. I'm not wrong. Oh god damn it. <laughs> Certainly, how may I be of assistance? <laughs> Your daughter, sir. Cartier. <laughs> Unfortunately, our train is leaving soon, so I may not be able to help much at all. Or wait! Flora is either Waluigi, or she's the secret twin, Katya. It could be either one of those. Like, we know Waluigi is like a master of disguise, but also, this sounds like she's coming on the train with us. Katia. Sir, he scares me. I wonder what this Katia lady is all about. Your guess is as good as mine, but judging by her family and breeding, I guess she's both beautiful and refined. Professor, get a hold of yourself! You're talking about breeding, especially if we don't know if we're, if, especially if we don't know her age. Jeez, man! Thought we went over this, Luke. For right now, we have no inkling. Oh, Romy. Right. I heard that you've been inquiring around the village about an antique known as the Elysian Box. Ah. Uh, oh yeah, that thing. Oh yeah, that thing. Folks say the freaky box still to have managed to break lid open. Just found out during the whole course of my travels, but the box isn't really what I'm after. Well then, if I may be so bold as to ask, what are you looking for, sir? Phantom Town that's nowhere to be found on any map. Place that we chose to may visit. The only way in, I hear, is on the Moultrie Express. That train has many mysteries. I've been the subject of my research for years. From what I can tell, this artifact you're after, the Lysium Box, is also tied to that town. Mm. Wow! So, so when can we set out for it? How do we get there? Yes, the detail I haven't pinned out yet. Maybe you whisper a word while inside the train, then whoosh, the tracks go in your direction. Anyhow, uh, it's probably something like that. 
I'll just have to keep searching until I find a way in. Alright. <laughs> Alright. Professor, did you hear that? I think we finally got the, a lead on the box. It's a bit early to celebrate, but it looks like our journey on the Molentary Express isn't over yet. Alright, you two. Let's start making our way back to the station. Okay, Professor. <laughs> it is me, Don <laughs> Paolo. Well, you've got at least 30 puzzles under your belt. Nice going, bro. If you want a challenge worthy of a real rock star, give me a holler. Okay. How's that festival treating you? Pretty righteous, huh? Train isn't ready to move quite yet, so while you're waiting, I'll lay this sweet puzzle on you. Sammy's necklace. Okay. Sammy has eight chains with seven links each. He wants to connect all these chains to make a totally awesome necklace that's a single loop. The jeweler says he can open and close a single link for two dollars. As shown below, Sammy could open an end of each of the eight chains to make one long necklace that's a single loop. However, that would cost $16, and the truth is there's a cheaper way to get the same results. Using the cheapest method, how much will it cost to make Sammy's necklace? What? Okay. He can open and close single link for two bucks. Wants to make a necklace that's a single loop, eight chains with seven links. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know. Uh, but we we do have a starting point, so there's there's really only a couple answers we can put in. Consider this puzzle solved. It's 14. <laughs> it's 14. I, okay. And there we have it. How? Take one of Semi's seven link chains, break each link apart, and use them to connect the remaining small chains together. Okay. No one was going to think of that. Sure. Okay. Voluntary Express is back in business, baby. Get ready to ride, folks. Hey, you guys better hurry back to your seats, because this train's ready to rock. Damn! Well, we didn't. We did just kind of breeze past all those people, so that doesn't make sense. Damn! Mm. Ooh, hmm. Oh, cutscene. Hmm? Oh, that must be so much. That must be Katya. Why is this beady-eyed man looking at me? What's going on over there? Voiced text cutscene? I believe we may have stumbled upon Mr. Anderson's dear daughter. That's one heck of a send-off. Considering the size of the party, I doubt she's just going on holiday. Oh. No mystery. Take a progress, of course! We're getting into the nitty gritty. Oh, so where's our real Flora? Chapter 3, A Diverging Path. Where's our real Katia? Uh, Flora, sorry. 
Um. Dead. They wouldn't. Would they? Would actually, they? they ha actually, they killed several people. But they were robots, and they were just brought back. The people. We didn't know that at the time they were killed. Those robots were sentient. Yeah, but they were just breaking down, and then they got sent for repairs. I can't stop thinking about that phantom town we keep hearing about. Could the rumors be true? If I recall correctly, the next stop on this line is the perfectly normal town of Luxembell. What? How do we get to the phantom town? That's an excellent question, Luke. I don't have the answer. But if the Molentary Express does indeed head for parts unknown, the crew will know something about it. Where is the late mobile? Well, we we had to take the train, remember? The late mobile's at home. Who's gonna take care of everything? What if we have a cat? Who's gonna feed our cat? I don't think Leighton has a cat. Where's Flora's room? It was right next to ours. I would go pay a visit. We couldn't. It's not an option. I was trying to find Granny, but she's not here. Everything seems real quiet. Um. Oh, you I think you were hit. Was I? I don't even remember. I beg your pardon, sir, but we're not open for business at the moment. Do visit us later. Oh, really closed? Yes, you see, on the way to Luxembell, there's a long, unlit tunnel we have to pass through. While in the tunnel, none of the scenic views our restaurant affords patrons will be visible. It is Mr. Beluga's wish that all patrons be able to enjoy the scenery while they dine. Hence our temporary suspension of service. Oh, talk about a classy operation. Mr. Beluga really has thought of everything, hasn't he? Huh. Oh, wait, the kitchen. I almost forgot about the kitchen. With macaron. Oh, hey, welcome back. How's my little guy doing? I knew it'd be tough without him around, but he didn't realize how lonely I'd get. Is he happy? Don't worry, he's doing great. That's good to hear. He's actually goes up to the kitchen and take a break until we get the Luxon Bell. Of course, the train shuts down for a leg of trip, so you might as well rest in your room. I think this was the voice I used for him. That sounds close. It's a very similar voice to the uh, ones that Jell Apocalypse used for uh, Detective Gumshoe during uh, during the uh, uh... Ace Attorney. Yes, that one. Sure, I'll tell you right now. Gumshoe will not sound like that to me. What what does he sound like to you? He sounds like Joe Swanson. But he's a golem. Train stations are an especially good place for dramatic farewells, aren't they? Below is a picture of a man and woman bidding each other a tearful goodbye. Somewhere within this picture is a single unrealistic detail. Find and circle that unusual area. Unrealistic detail? Well, I think it would help if it wasn't bit crushed DS graphics. Dog? Well, dog's fine. Lady. Other lady. I did. Think hard about the clues, okay. Little man. No. Dog. Dog? Here goes. It's not dog. The moon! Here goes. No. The lights? No, lights look fine. Other man. Other 
other man. Can I even circle him? Try circling his uh, briefcase. Cases. Yeah, the case he's using. Here goes. No. Man. Woman. That's the dog. See, I can't even tell if it's like... If that is an area I can circle and it's just... I'm doing a bad circle or if it's not an area I can select. Is it the weird... Yeah, that, that small one? Small lad? I tried him, I can't circle him. Okay, fuck you. Here goes! No. Because we've seen that lad in a few puzzles now. Have we? Yeah. The little the guy with the beard. He's he's a little Easter egg. Um The window? Here goes. The window. That was almost too easy. Where the man in the picture to open the window is shown above, the frame would go through the roof of the train. Most trains and windows either slouch down into the- I don't fucking know how train windows work! How, how was I supposed to know that? How many that one? I don't know. We got a camera part. We're gonna try to speed through all these. Alright, 20 pickerats. In the back of the train yard, there's an old warped wheel. As shown below, a star is pointing to its axle. While no longer functional, the wheel is interesting because when rolled on a flat surface, its axle traces a funny pattern. Okay, well this seems easy enough. Nice and simple, I love it. That was almost too easy. Alright, next one. The secret message. On the day Dropstone was founded 50 years ago, the villagers toasted with red wine and danced late into the night. They also bit the statue, engraving it with the word red and the date 812. Part of the statue is shaped like a wine glass and can be filled with water from the spout at the top. While the statue describes the villagers' activities on the day of the founding, it can also show where they all found themselves on the day after the festivities. Can you figure out where the villagers were? Answer in three letters. I already got it. I vote. If you fill it up with water, red turns into bed because of the reflection. Come on now, game. Give me something more challenging. How the hell is that an S? Fuck you. That's the most B I've ever seen in my life. that work? How has that worked? And now to test my theory. A true gentleman leaves no puzzle unsolved. Yeah, look at that. Smart smarty. Alright, pass the apples.
Johnny and Thomas are each carrying some apples. If Johnny gave Thomas one apple, the two men would each have the same number of apples. Conversely, if Thomas gave Johnny two apples, Johnny would have three times the number of apples that Thomas would have. Just how many apples is each of them holding? Okay. Okay, so we got Johnny, we got Thomas. If Johnny gave Thomas one apple, they would have the same number. If Thomas gave Johnny two apples, Johnny would have three times that Thomas would have. Thomas gave Johnny two. And Johnny has six. to be like one number is bigger than the other by one because then oh wait no you're right you're right now they're both four but then if if thomas starts with three and he gives johnny two then johnny would have seven and he would have one no thomas has more uh, less apples by the end of it. No, those are two separate things. They're not happening. Oh, they're two oh, separate things. They're oh, not, hap they're I've not been, happening one after another. I've been thinking about it wrong. Okay. So, but you are right with one is two less than the other. Six, four. It becomes five and five. Two, eight. No. Seven. Five. Comes three. That becomes nine. Yes. Yes. Seven and five. Consider this puzzle solved. Good. Yeah, that's right. Two grown men struggling with basic mathematics. That's not basic mathematics. That's word problems. Word problems always suck. It's a wrap. Unlike your non-existent girlfriend. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> In order to wrap the flower just like the drawing, how would you begin wrapping? Okay. What the hell? How would you begin wrapping? But where are you starting the wrapping? Are you starting it from here? C. C, you think? This should do the trick. Okay. 
All right. Huh. Wonderful. Yeah, this one. I, I be doing a funk. I was gone on this one. New hamster toy. Pug. Trees on an old road. Is we got time for two or three more? A few more. The country road you see here is lined with a single straight row of trees, each planted at a different time and a different distance from its neighbor. Of the five trees labeled A through E, which two trees have the greatest distance between them? Say so a diagram carefully and draw a line. What do you mean they're a different distance? Am I stupid? Am I? Am I stupid? Just leave it to me. Piece of where that, was the puzzle? Well, that it was worded in a way to try and trip you up. Where? You you just managed to see through it. Uh, uh, <laughs> New hamster. Okay, let's do let's do one more. And then we play with the hamster. And then the hamster. Which house where? Below are houses A, B, C, and D, each of which is a different color. Decipher each house's color from the clues. Okay. The red house is closer to the pine tree than the blue house. Okay. The yellow house is closer to the lake than the green house. The green house is closer to the power lines than the blue house. D is either yellow, blue, or green. Alright, well, D can't be blue, because red is closer to the pine tree than blue. I think... So that means D has to be yellow or green. And then C has to... Well, no, hang on. I think C is red. So this is red. That might be yellow. And that might be green. Wait, no, hang on. I think that might be green, that's yellow, that's that's green, that's blue, that's yellow. Why do you think these blue? No, no, no. Red is closer to the pine tree than blue than the blue house. You put red further from the pine tree. No. No. The red no. house is closer to the pine tree than the blue house. The yellow house is closer to the lake than the green house. The green house is closer to the power lines than the blue house. Would you consider that... I think that's almost equidistant. Um, let's try it. Yeah, uh, worst case scenario, I think swap yellow and this red. Solved. Oh, no, Never you mind. Got it right. Never mind. I'm smart. There we have it. Easy as pie. Right, and that didn't give us anything. Hamster. We still got. Ugh. Hamster. Big cheese. Big cheese. The biggest cheese. And we've got a camera part. Where does this go? I don't know where this one goes. Alright, 
let's see here. Tracks the hamster if he's within three spaces of it. Yep. Track the hamster if he's within three spaces of one. Go on, man. Diagonal doesn't count? Diagonal doesn't count? Alright, well then it's probably like that. And then that. Why did they make him talk? I don't think that's the route we intended him to take, but that works. It, it still works. That's 12. He's now gone. He's upgraded. He's not by exercise, it'll just make me hungrier. He's not a lump no more. Now he is a slug. Oh, and he needs two more to get the next level. Alright, cheese. Alright. Well, I think with that. Well then there. Mm. Oh, I've been playing one. I've been playing two. We'll see you next time when we keep going. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.